For 18 long years, this kid was cut off from the outside world. With pure white skin and pink eyes, it looked like a monster. When the headmaster led him out of the room, the car outside unexpectedly honked on its own. Upon arrival at the welfare home, Jeremy's appearance destined him to face discrimination from the ignorant. During mealtime, a bully and his gang approached, mocking his appearance and humiliating him with a spoon. However, Jeremy took the spoon, rubbed it vigorously, and every spoon in the cafeteria was magnetically drawn to it, leaving everyone dumbfounded. In physics class, Jeremy struggled to control his powers as the teacher conducted an electrical experiment. An arc suddenly shot out, traversing the entire classroom and lifting Jeremy into the air. The physics teacher quickly realized the situation, smashed the apparatus, and interrupted the electricity. Despite smoke emanating from Jeremy, the police chief, upon visiting the hospital, was told he was unharmed, showing no signs of being electrocuted. However, when Jeremy was sent back to the welfare home, a group of experts and scholars were waiting. One of the doctors claimed his intelligence was the highest among humans. However, rather than congratulating him, their attitude was filled with skepticism and rejection, treating Jeremy as an anomaly, just like the bullies in the welfare home, compared to the hostile humans. Jeremy preferred to interact with animals. One day, a chubby cop took a group of thugs hunting, proudly claiming his marksmanship wouldn't cause any pain to the deer. After hearing this, Jeremy silently placed his hand on the deer, then grabbed the cop, transmitting the agony of facing death to him, as if undergoing a thousand tortures. As the conveyor of this experience, Jeremy also felt the pain, yet his eyes showed only compassion for the deer. From that day on, the fat cop never touched a gun again. Upon learning of this incident, the police chief immediately went to find Jeremy, asking for his help, placing his hand gently on her forehead. Jeremy sensed her thoughts, then told the police chief that she wished for reconciliation with her son, so they wouldn't be lonely after she left. Tearfully, the police chief agreed, and not long after, his wife peacefully passed away in his arms. When the son arrived and saw his father's teary eyes, he instantly understood everything, and father and son embraced tightly. Upstairs, Jeremy witnessed this heartwarming scene with envy in his eyes. The next day, Jeremy found a girl he had met at school, the only friend who didn't discriminate against him. Jeremy showcased his unique ability mind transference. The two shared the emotions seen in each other's hearts, feeling that emotional connection. However, the girl's father suddenly appeared, snatched Jeremy up like a little chick, berated him, and then took the girl away. Packing his things, he decided to leave this sorrowful place. However, he encountered the bully who stole his hat, and he was publicly humiliated. In response, Jeremy's energy erupted, blasting the bully away, causing him to collapse with no heartbeat. The thugs panicked, and Jeremy silently approached the bully, placing his hand on the chest, using the electrical current within him to perform CPR, again and again, until he revived the bully. After the incident, Jeremy returned to the basement where he had lived for over a decade. Only this cramped space could provide him with a sense of security. The headmaster came over, feeling deeply regretful for taking Jeremy away without providing him a better life. The police also arrived, wanting to take Jeremy back for questioning. At this moment, distant thunder rumbled, and Jeremy seemed to sense something. Unusually unafraid of thunder and lightning, he ran towards the approaching storm. Arms outstretched, the cloud sensed him too, and a lightning bolt descended. Ultimately, Jeremy lit up, turning into a dazzling halo of light, disappearing from this world. 